Good morning, Asia. <clears throat> Fellow privateers, welcome to the Asian Preview, North American Wrap. I'm back in the saddle after being off for a couple days. Apologize, you haven't had the, the Asian Preview. We run a lean shop here, privateer. Let's start out with the oil chart. I was hoping we were going to get a close down here, kind of like a hanging man doji uh, down here, like 69, 60, 70 area. It did, uh, it did close, you know, pretty pretty close to unchanged. Uh, but I may have jumped the gun a little bit with my short. So this has been on our radar now for a while. Um, news came out throughout the hourly. I'll show you the price action. News came out right after the uh, the pit close for oil, and uh, there was a headline that Trump um, was going to make an announcement on Iran tomorrow. I think he's getting pressured by some of our allies, and uh, you know to stay in the deal with Iran. So we all know about the sentiment and the positioning in crude oil as it's been a parabolic rise here up above seventy dollars up to a high last week at or uh, today at seventy eighty three we got some support here it held it sixty nine fifty area here's that when the news came out from Trump that he's gonna make an announcement tomorrow at two PM Eastern the longs looked a little nervous we had about a one and a half percent sell-off straight line. Found support down here at these old hourly lows. Let's take a look at some of the bigger, bigger uh, technical areas. This to me down here, 6680. Remember getting stopped out here at 66, just at the, pretty much the dead balls low. And uh, so this is a point that I remember all too well because I was long. And got stopped. So this, the market kind of owes me something. If we start trading under these lows, these on the dailies, I think you'll get a, a big washout, very, very swift washout. That's the way crude oil moves, um, especially with the, the record long positioning, the sentiments through the roof. Um, there's no reason it can't get down to this 100 day moving average, 6340 area. So we're keeping a close eye on this. Obviously, it's going to be a, a news headline driven event. Um, but pay attention because it can have an impact on, on some of the currency pairs. If you look at, uh, see what Dollar Max did today. Dollar Max has just been bid mainly on the election fears. We're now above this three quarter fib, closing above it today at 1941. It got up to a high of uh, 53, I believe was a high. And that, uh, it rallied a bit more as oil was coming off after the the Trump uh, news. And here's Dollar Cad. Dollar Cad was languishing near the lows of the day. News came out from Trump, and you know here we are. It's interesting how we've been rejected here at this two thirds fib, one twenty, call it one twenty nine. The figure pierced it a couple times. Small vial intraday violations, but look at we cannot close above it. So we got this sideways chop chopping between the half Fibonacci and the two-thirds this is gonna have to make a decision soon so you know I'd say under 128.05 and on the top side above 129.15.20 for the next direction that this could be driven by, uh, by the oil price so worth paying attention to uh, dollar yen a little heavy uh, one of our one of our banks uh, that we do business with came out with a short euro yen trade idea this week that seems to be working pretty well and they put it out yesterday and your yen had kind of a tough day even even in even uh, with, with a strong equity performance cross yen has been languishing I mean we've been down now one two three four five six seven eight nine you know nine days in a row big sell-off. So yen strength, you know, I, I'm not sure I want to touch it against the dollar, but yen strength, here's sterling yen. Let's not forget about this big level up here. It was a three-quarter Fibo. 
again couldn't close above it failed decent sell-off rally back up and then you know with with all the sterling weakness that we've seen today we had kind of kind of an inside bar this green bar here doesn't tell me a whole lot a um, couple daily lows down here at 147 it looks like and sterling yen so the 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 yen, uh, once dollar yen hit that 110 area, and there were a lot of sellers, we had that doji type day, big down day, pretty ugly three day pattern, up day, indecision day, big down day, another doji yesterday, but indecisive for sure. And, uh, you know, hanging around the, just above the 100 day moving average. So there is some yen strength. I'd rather I'd rather express that via some other currencies other than the dollar because uh, the dollar still seems a little perky to me, and I think we have another few days to you know maybe even a week of dollar strength. Here's a euro dollar made a new low for the whole move. Had a little bounce late in the day, but uh, you know this looks like it has more room to go. Australian dollar should be on your radar with the. Uh, retail sales tonight. Here we are around this 75 level. These old lows. Struggles. Doesn't like it below 75. But, you know, also can't really rally much. So, uh, I suspect there'll be a little bit of action around these retail sales numbers. Uh, you know, they're in no position to be hiking rates, doing really anything. And uh, if we start seeing some weak data out of the consumer via their retail sales, then uh, I do like being short Aussie versus, you know, either the yen or, uh, you know, even the Kiwi dollar. Um, so we'll be watching this here on the uh, during the Asian session. All right, I'll leave it with that. Uh, good luck trading. You'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.